Yeah. Shall we get started? So we have we are are we done with seven point four? Are we done or not? Did you practice? I told you in the last fifteen minutes. Never done. Let's see. So we will go to seven point five today. Those who are on in any doubt or any problem you want me to solve from seven point four. Second, Panir Penal. Seven point four, the second. This is what? I don't know. See, one divided by square root of always make the coefficient of x square one. Right. So always make the coefficient of x square as one. Up in the one. I'll take four outside. So when I take four outside, I'll get one by four plus x square. And what is the compensating factor? What did I actually take out? Four. Is it four and four? So in the four on the square root, if I take it out, it becomes half into integral of dx divided by root of x square plus half square. Yesterday I told you the logic for this. What is it? It's very simple. One by two into log of x plus Here one by two whole square. Ah. One by two the whole square. Let's see. Here. Method of completing square. So let give me a quadratic equation. Your wish. X square plus four x plus five. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll slightly make it complicated. I'll make it two x square plus four x plus five. Very complication, yeah. Okay, but still, what I was supposed to do in the first step? So you also listen to Hari Vikas. You also listen. This I'm, I'm explaining completing the square method concept. So completing the square one what is the first step? I told you coefficient of x square should be one. Upper, what should I do? Two. Take two outside, so x square plus two x plus five by two. So what are the terms to be concentrated upon? So one important point I want you to note is always make the coefficient of x square as one only. Don't make it minus one or don't make it So if at all the coefficient of x square is minus, what are you supposed to do? First to take the minus outside and then proceed. So yeah. So first concentrate on these two terms. So by default write it as x. So if the middle term is having a plus sign, put a plus. What should you do to the coefficient of x? Make it half plus one. Put it in a bracket, close it, and put a square. Plus, write the constant as it is. Subtract. Subtract the square of this value. How much is it? One. So this whole thing has a two multiplied itself. Breathe up. X square plus 
x square plus x four. Coefficient of x square. Sorry, coefficient of x square. Positive one. Make the coefficient of x as one. Back and close from the square matter. If, uh, if you expand this, what will you get? Now? A plus B the whole square. Yes. X square plus one plus two x square. So one of the other question is what do you have? You have x square plus two x. So x square plus two x is equal. But what is the extra term? One and the one here or the one square actually. Other subtract one. That is why you subtract it here. Follow the logic. I completely need to solve for this constant. Please, uh, I'll make a note of it. That's fine. They don't hear. I hope everyone is clear. You solve problems also based on this. They want to put it there. Seven point four as you put it, I'm giving the next race to you. I'm going to start the concept of seven point five today. But I repeat, for you to solve seven point four, sorry five, you need the basics of seven point four. Another is the double time method. Again, I can't sit and keep touching any concept or any formula, any method that is not clear. Please help me. For you to explain the whole thing, it's fine. You we'll take your time. So yeah. First, observe this. Others, it only are clear. Yeah. So, for example, x square minus two x plus five by two into two x four. Okay. X. The minus is the minus half of this. Half of two, one bracket put square put plus five by two. Okay, just because you have minus one here in your plus one put up there, you should still subtract it. Minus one down. Irrespective of whether the constant has a positive sign or negative sign, you should always put the minus. Then uh, in the square put up there, you get one square. Other than that, you subtract. Here. Minus five by two. Constant double press me. Minus five by two. Left. Five by two. Da. Because here it is five by two. Da. Then get here. Here it is plus five by two. Da. You will write the constant as it is. Hey, one more. Da. Logic one. Simple. Da. Then till I think it is deleted portion. Da. That is why you are torturing me. Now I am teaching for tenth standard fully. The why you are doing all that. See, people are torturing me in twelfth standard. X square minus two x minus three x. Which you put up, for example, sorry. Me da number so seven by two put up. Sorry. Ah, if a unno la logic par. Coefficient of x square one eight sa. So adhanal x support. Marandra da kati par. Minus erka minus four. Three erka. Adha padi akir. How much is it? Three by two. So first two end term go bracket le put square put constant undisturbed plus seven by two minus here there minus seven by two. Adi enna arko apne put minus. Toda subtract karna no. In the three by two arko le adu the square subtract. How much is it? Nine by four. Why are we subtracting? Enna the square expand karna bol the you will get nine by four as an extra term. अरे हम लोग तैयार लगा देते हैं, तो आधे सब प्रैक्ट करते हैं, पूरी ना। चलिए, you want what other question you want to create, you solve it, it's the same logic. Only thing you need to be careful is dealing with fractions. आज उनका कहीं लगा, that I can't teach. I seven spent रहा था ना एक नोट, seven तो डेली टेबल में सोला दिया।
One hour, you need not disturb any. Just proceed blindly. X square plus 4x plus 10. Upon no lap, you know, your life is easy. X plus 2 the whole square plus 10 minus. Is it clear? Seriam, shall I proceed? Guys, I want everybody to concentrate. Everybody concentrate. I'm going to start an exercise. It's called integration using partial fractions. Okay. If you see the order in which the integral chapter is going on, what, are the, what was the first exercise we did with? Integration. Basic, they gave you some 16, 40 or something. They asked you to integrate the values. Second exercise. Substitution. And remember, substitution is the standard method of solving any problem. That is the base for integrals. Third, inverse trigonometric functions. Fourth, the third was actually concept of some special types of trigonometric function like sine square theta, cos square theta, tan square theta, these kind of stuff. Right? We understood how to solve it. We had to take the knowledge from trigonometry. Fourth, so based on the square in the denominator, you will have. Sum of two squares, difference of two squares, square root of difference of two squares, other very root. So, but the most common application and everything was completing the square. Then you have the formula, the supply that formula are going to get the answer. So, if you see, the fourth and the fifth one are concentrating mainly on the algebraic part. The remaining things were concentrating on the trigonometric part, and substitution was a combination of algebraic and trigonometric. For example, so in general, integration by partial fractions. So what do they mean by partial fractions? Name is suggesting something. So if I have a fractional value in my hand, I repeat it. For example, if I have half, can I write that half by splitting it as 1 by 4 and 1 by 4? A sort of breather. So 1 by 2, I split and wrote it as 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. I can write it because it's an easy number. What if I have a slightly complicated number? Where I am saying 3 by 8, that's split and give me a pinch What are you going to do? What will you do? 1 by 4 and? Okay, you can do that. Or if you can split it in multiple ways you want. So what I will do is I'll take 2 here, 2 into 4. I'll split it like this. So I'll have 2 here, I'll have 4 here. So I need to do a mathematical operation by putting a numerator value so that the result is going to give me 3 by 8. I'm saying break your head and tell me what is the answer. 3, 1, no? I'm not checking the 3 by 2 minus 1 by 4. Is it working? 1, 3 is working. Huh? 1, 3 work. Huh? 4 minus 6 by 8 is working. Is it getting tough? So he told me an answer. He gave me 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8. That's right. You will get it. But what I'm trying to say is 1 by 4 and 1 by 8 is not the only variation. It varies from problem to problem. So who decides it? Who's deciding how the fraction is supposed to work? I changed the whole story. So what he did is for 3 by 8. So for 3 by 8, the logic we use is, what did you do to the denominator? You wrote it as 1 into 8. 1 into 8, that's what you did. It's a big problem. In a solution. Generator. Guys, we have a power cut here. For two minutes. Get those around and are you to me? Yes, sir. Just two minutes in the power cutting, right? just thinking what to do.
So in the meanwhile, can you find out what, what would be the fractions? I want the denominator to be 2 and 4. Split it as fractions at that point. Hey, can you guys come with me, friend? So that I can show this at this Can you guys come with me forward? Okay. So that you are able to see the screen at least. Is it, is it visible? Punjumna Dhani. So one by two, two, one by two. So you are able to see it. Come, friend, come here. So what are we trying to do? But I hope you understood the context. We may we can split it in multiple ways and write it. So this given, if you have a fraction given and you split it and write it as multiple fractions, you call them as partial fractions. Is that clear? Sharia. So that's what this exercise concentrates upon. The only difference is instead of numbers, you have functions. Sharia. So listen, first one is form of the rational function. So here I have a rational function. What do you mean by rational function in the first place? Rational function. P by Q. So polynomial function divided by another polynomial function is what is called as a rational function. Right. Suppose I have a function like this. Let me copy this. If I have a function like this, px plus q divided by x minus a into x minus b is one. Right? So what, what they are trying to tell us is the denominator is already written as two factors. Right? What? P of x divided by x minus a into x minus b. So if you observe, when you multiply the factors x minus a and x minus b, what is the value of going to get? Uh, you get a quadratic equation or a sec, uh, quadratic polynomial. And numerator is a numerator is a It's a linear polynomial. Right. So what had been oh, I've been telling you an important point from the beginning with respect to integration. If you want to solve any problem in integration, first thing is eliminate the denominator. Eliminate the denominator. So if I have to eliminate the denominator, think of this logically. I have a second degree equation at the, in the denominator. When can a second degree equation, what kind of a mathematical calculus operation am I supposed to do to make a second degree equation into a first degree equation? Differentiation. Differentiation. That's right. So in most of the problems, if you have to eliminate the denominator, you take the denominator as t and the numerator will become dt. Most of the problems will be based with the So are they logically part? If at all you have this px plus q divided by px plus q divided by x minus a into x minus b, where this is one factor, this is another factor. What you can do is you can write it as something divided by x minus a plus the something divided by x minus b, and in the numerator, you will put this as a and b. Now, so 
are able to understand what I'm trying to say. So this is the first step that you need to follow. You will write it as something divided by x minus a plus something divided by x minus b and numerator depending on what value you have in the denominator. In the denominator, you have x minus a. So numerator should be one degree less than it. So a polynomial which is lesser than linear uh, polynomial is what? It's a constant. Another I wrote a constant in the numerator. So to put it in simple terms, if I have a problem like this, integral of 2x plus 3 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 dx, you cannot directly solve it. You cannot directly solve it. You should write it as something divided by x minus 1 plus something divided by x minus 2. In the numerator, you should put an A, you should, you should put a B. Okay, I'll, I'll first solve it, then you can copy. Now you take LCM. When you take LCM and then proceed, you will have A into X minus 2 plus B into X minus 1 divided by X minus 2 into, sorry, uh, X minus 1 into X minus 2. I hope this point is clear. Right? Now I'm concentrating only on the numerator. When I solve the numerator, can I have a plus b times x? Can I have it? What do you want to do? ax plus bx. So common is a plus b. x if we will we get a plus b. Minus 2a minus b divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2. Can I write it like this? So 2x plus 3 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 is actually split and written like this. Denominators are the same on both the sides. So what can I do to them? Logically, they get cancelled. What about the numerators? The coefficient of x here is 2. The coefficient of x here is a plus b. The constant is 3. And here the constant is minus 2a minus b. So what did you get? You got two linear equations in a and b. You better want to solve for them. If I have to solve for them, I'll add them. Then I'll have minus a is equal to 5, which implies a is equal to minus 5. Am I clear? Then what about b? b will be minus 7. Minus 7 or plus 7? Plus 7. Is it clear to this step? So please make a note. Think, observe, and write. Right. So it's possible to write down the question alone. 2x plus 3 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2. You try to split it and write it at different terms. Right. Right. So now what are we supposed to do to this minus 5 and 7? Why did we even find it? Let's substitute it back in the right. 
I hope it is clear till this step for everyone. Logic puri idhila. Those who are online, are you clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Upper. So what was the question I gave you? Two x plus three divided by x minus one into x minus two dx is equal to. Can I write the same thing as integral of something by x minus one regular? And the some x minus one, what was the numerator that we wrote? A by x minus one. But what is the value of a that we found? Minus five by x minus one dx plus. Seven by x minus two dx. Did you understand what we did here? We actually split the rational function p x plus q by x minus one into x minus two as two separate fractions, so that our job of integration has become easy. Now you can tell the integral of both. So it is minus five into integral of one by x minus one. Integral of one by x minus one. Log of Mod x minus one plus seven times integral of one by x minus two log of mod x minus two plus c. That's the answer. Is it clear? Okay. okay. What are those two equations? A plus B is two. Minus two A minus B is three. Two linear equations. How will you solve them? Eliminate. One more. Integral of one by x of log x. Clear, right? Right. So, tell me some number. Tell me a linear function. What are the number you are talking about? Five x. Minus seven, okay. By x plus four, two. Five x minus seven by x minus three into x plus four. Logic is the same. Follow the same steps.
Eight by seven. Eight by seven. Eight by seven log. Okay. Twenty seven by. Twenty seven by seven. Log eight. Okay. Four. Yes. They got the method right. Four n minus three zero to seven. So are these linear equations right? A plus b is five. Four n minus four n minus three b is seven. Minus seven. Got it. So when you solve this, you will get a as eight by seven, b as twenty seven by seven. Did everyone get this? If not, there is a calculation mistake in your paper. Check it. Okay. So those are not completed. Leave some space. So if you look at the second kind of a model, if you have linear divided by x plus a the whole square, what do you have? P x plus q divided by x plus a the whole square. Then this one you are supposed to write it as observe something divided by x plus a. Plus something divided by x plus a the whole square with x minus a, x minus a, x minus a. So it will be a and b. So if you have x minus a to x minus b, you have different roots. X minus a the whole square now repeated roots. So when you have linear divided by repeated by x minus a the whole square, you will write something by x minus a plus something by x minus a the whole square. So what should be in the numerator? A and b. Did you write this? Did everyone copy this? X minus a the whole square. Something by x minus a plus something by x minus a the whole square. This is a. This is b. Okay. Remember. Some two x plus three divided by x minus let's say x minus three the whole square dx. So what are we supposed to do? Something by x minus three plus something by x minus three the whole square. This is a. This is b. So what should you do? Here a will get multiplied with what? It is only x minus three. And LCM is x minus three the whole square. Plus b mandha pedar divided by x minus three the whole square is equal to. 2x plus 3 by x minus 3 the whole square. Cancel this and cancel this. So you will have a x minus 3a plus b is equal to 2x plus 3. So what is the value of a? Ah. Sir, can you ah slide up, sir? Sir, the question it is given x minus 3 whole square, right? Hmm. So according to the formula, you should split x minus three and x minus three. No, no, no. You should. That's what I gave you. The formula we got here. The logic. So x minus a into x minus a the whole square. Then get it. Okay. 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 So minus six plus b. No, no. Three. So b will be nine. So what will happen to the question? Integral of two by x minus three dx 
plus integral of 9 by x minus 3 the whole square dx. So, 2 times what is the integral of 1 by x minus 3? x minus 3 plus what is the integral of 1 by x minus 3 the whole square? It is minus 1 by x minus 3 the c. Because integral of 1 by x square is minus 1 by x. Now, work up. derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. So, integral of 1 by x square will be minus 1 by x. So, what is the answer? This will be the answer. So, 2 times log of x minus 3 minus 9 divided by x minus 3 plus c. Any doubt? Any step that is unclear? So clear? Everyone? Frame a question. Seven x minus seven x minus twelve cube. Seven x minus twenty three. Okay. It's plus 13 whole square. Up. Very big number. No? Okay, but wanted to punish for So 7x minus 23 divided by x plus 13 the whole square. Wait when there is a doubt or a brief here. So something by x plus 13 plus something by x plus 13 the whole square. A B. So B is minus one one four only, no? Right. So should we see the third one also? Abhi cut, abhi cut. Uh, 
seven by x plus thirteen. Correct. Seven by x plus thirteen. Correct. Ah. All of that. Whole square. Here denominator square. Right? Angle. Angle square. Square. Shall I proceed? So we'll see the third method. Now we saw linear divided by quadratic. Now you have quadratic divided by cubic. Clear? So if at all you have px square plus qx plus r divided by x minus a into x minus b into x minus c, three factors. Then how will you write it as something by x minus a plus something by x minus b plus something by x minus c. What should be in the numerator? A, B, C. So it is like a by x minus a plus b by x minus b plus c by x minus c. Put the logic. So this process is slightly lengthy. Is one you need to be a little bit cautious with taking it. So yeah, I'll do a problem and show. Let's frame a simple question. So tell me, two x square, or let's take x square plus five x plus one divided by x minus one. X minus two into x minus three dx. So how to proceed? Since it is of the form quadratic divided by x minus a into x minus b into x minus c, something divided by x minus one plus something divided by x minus two plus something divided by x minus three. So what should come in the numerators? A, B, C. इधर पूरी जो दोनों का हाँ So a into here what will get multiplied? How will that be? X minus two into x minus three plus b. Can I multiply? How will that be? Plus c into x minus one into x minus two. So what you will get is you will get a quadratic value. So a into what will come here? X minus two into x minus three is x square minus five x plus six. Plus b into x square minus four x plus three plus c into x square minus three x plus two. So, what are the coefficients of x square? A plus b plus c into x square. Observe, don't just copy it blindly. There is any doubt that it can be done. Is that step clear? So, a plus b plus c x square. Minus five a minus four b sorry plus four b plus three c times x. What is the correct? Correct. Plus what do you have? Six a plus three b plus two c. All these things should be equal to whom? Should be equal to x square plus five x plus one. Okay. If you compare the coefficients on both the sides, what will you get? A plus b plus c is one. Minus of five a plus four b plus three c is five. Six a plus three b plus two c is one. The really challenge here is you have linear. That is a challenge only. We have to solve it. So this problem deserves four marks.
right? So if you multiply with five on the in the first equation, so five a plus five b plus five c is one. Minus five a plus four b, sorry, minus four b minus three c is. Hmm? So minus five a minus four b minus three c should be equal to five. So what will happen when you add these two values? B plus two c is ten. Right. Similarly, solve these two equations. So why did I multiply with 5 for the first equation on both the sides? Because I took first and the second equation. If I take first and third equation, then what should I do? I'll multiply with 6. 6a plus 6b plus 6c is equal to 6. 6a plus 3b plus 2c is equal to 1. So when you subtract both, Gone. 3a plus 4c is equal to 5. Uh, 3b plus 4c. 3b plus 4c is 5. If, uh, this is a linear equation in b and c. This is a linear equation in b and c. Solve for it. I'll have 2b plus 4c is equal to 2b plus 4c is 20. 3b plus 4c is 5. Subtract both. Gone. Minus b is equal to 15. So b is minus 15. a is minus 7 by 2. 7 by 2. b is minus 15 correct. Okay. Take this b and substitute it here. Take this b and substitute it here. You will have minus 15 plus 2c is equal to 10. So 2c is equal to 25, which implies c is equal to 25 by 2. c is 25 by 2, da? What about a? So a is a substitute of the first equation, a plus b plus c, one and regular substitute. So a plus b plus c is 1. Uh, so, what do you find out the value of k? A is 7 by 2 order. 7 by 2. So, what is the answer? So, you have integral of 7 by 2 divided by. In the very which one? Which is 7 by 2 divided by x minus 1. Huh? Plus. Minus 15 by 2 divided by minus 15 all of them. Minus 15 divided by plus 25 by 2 into integral of dx by x minus 3. So, what is the answer? 7 by 2 log of x minus 1 So, this will be the answer. Right, so we finished three concepts. Let's see if we can see it in the next class. Let's get from the next Monday will be prepared. Yeah. Some point for Yeah, safe. Prepare. Yeah. Can we wind up? Guys, those who are online, we'll wind up, okay? Yeah. Yes, sir. Sir? Yes. Ah, tell me that. Sir, uh, actually, I have a doubt in one of the assignment <coughs> questions. Mm, tell me. Sir, um, sir, so we need to find the effective resistance. Sir. The max class, right? Then. Okay, sir. I will come to offline. Yeah.
ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു ഓക്കെ